Matt Karen. Groton police are investigating a suspicious package that was left in a shopping center parking lot today. The Connecticut State Police bomb squad was called in and later determined it was not an explosive device. However, neighbors in that town and across the state tell Fox 61's Tony Black they continue to be on alert following a string of falsely reported emergency incidents. In all reality, this is not reality. Police in Groton closed off the Groton Shopping Center Saturday for hours as they investigated a suspicious package found in the parking lot. The police response drew in spectators wondering what was going on. Ronald Lasacano was one of them. I was going to Aldi's to get a few things and get my exercise, but I was uh, shocked by this. This is now the third incident in three days that has put neighbors here in Groton on high alert. On Thursday, a man was arrested for having what police believed was pipe bombs. Friday, police responded to a swatting call at the high school, and now Saturday, this. Neighbors here in Groton say they never anticipated having this issue here. Why are people willing to do these things to cause more mayhem for other people? And it's tough to get into the heads of, of other people. Groton Police Captain Gregory McCarthy says the department was already on edge following the Thursday pipe bomb arrest. Those devices on Thursday were disabled by a bomb squad and the man accused of having them remains in police custody. The item of concern Saturday was a package that had been tightly wrapped. A bomb squad later determined the device was non-explosive, but Groton PD will continue to investigate why it was left there and what it contains. It triggered shelter in place orders for businesses. We were able to get a lot of customers on their way safely. There are no injuries at all. It is yet another scare for neighbors. Groton High School was one of several schools across Connecticut to have reported swatting calls Friday. These are reports saying there's something like a bomb or active shooter at a school when there's not. Others like Westport, Enfield, Windsor Locks, and Bridgeport had similar incidents. Many noted the timing of these calls happening on the same day as the fallen Bristol police officer's funeral where officers from across the state attended. We don't want to get hurt. We don't want civilians hurt. And if they know of something that seems out of the norm, You've all seen it. See something, say something. New London's Sue Lewis says this chain of disturbances is scary. You have to be aware of what's happening around you. I mean, even today, I went to go and go to the store and it was closed, and it's a good reason for them to close it. Groton police are asking anyone who may have information on the suspicious package to give them a call. In Groton, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.